Hey guys, Troy, DIY Home and Auto. We're doing a driveway project. This used to be grass. We're gonna turn it into what you see here today. Let's do it. So I'm going to do this video a little bit different than I do my normal videos. Um, the job's done. I'm about 20 man hours into this. I had my boys and a neighbor kid helping me for a little while on this project. Um, adding up all those hours is about 20 to 24 hours total. I kind of lost track of how many hours I spent with the boys here. But <clears throat> What I've done is I've gone down. The car's racing by. I've gone down six inches with the dirt. Here's an example. So I've gone down six inches and then I brought in six inches of gravel. The goal with this is to eventually put cement in. Uh, I can't afford the cement right now, but I wanted it down as far as it's gonna go so that when I take out four inches of gravel to put four inches of cement in, I still have a little bit of gravel left. So. I'm going to extend that gravel back where the trailer is, um, move the fence back a little ways, put the trailer back farther. This gravel will go back there, hopefully doing cement the entire way. But I have enough cement to complete the project. So um, I left the, these are basically, people call them railroad ties, but these aren't railroad ties, they're smaller than that. These are actually the boards from the signs on the freeway. When they break off, they're too short to put a new sign in. They just stored them, and they were sitting back behind a place. I went and asked if I could have them. They said yes, so I got them. So I lined the entire property line with them, uh, lined the Comcast cable box, put in these. These are where the, the boys will park here and then get out and walk on this. And I put that there because I'm in Salt Lake City, Utah. We get a lot of snow. And this is a place for me to shovel so I don't go down too far and shovel gravel. Don't want to do that, throwing gravel off on somewhere. So I can shovel there and then I know how deep to go for the rest of it. Uh, it just kind of gives me a guide as far as that goes. But, um, but that's, that's the goal, that's the plan. Uh, I'm gonna turn it over to the actual time lapse. You're gonna watch me do this fast. I didn't video every single step of the way. Oh, I was gonna show you one more thing. I cut my cable line. <laughs> uh, that thing looked exactly like the roots. See the roots there from that tree. Hate that tree. But the roots, the roots from the tree are orange just like that when the bark peels off. I saw that and I was going at it with my pickaxe and just cut it right in half. So. Um, this dirt was uh, very hard packed clay. We had been parking on this before. You'll see that in the video here in a second. Um, it used to be grass when we first moved in. It had sprinklers in the whole nine yards. Uh, we s cut the sprinkler line so that we could park here, but it was still just dirt and I wanted to fix that problem. So this is me fixing that problem. This is Troy, DIY Home and Auto. Uh, watch the video to the end. Be sure and like and subscribe. And We'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Enjoy. All right, here's the progress from day one. goes to my house. So after rethinking this over the weekend, uh, lucky for me I don't do any work on Sundays, so I got to walk past this several times, going to and from church, that sort of thing. I'm looking at it, my wife looked at it, and she's like, what are you thinking? This is just going to be a mess, it's going to be weeds, uh, what's going to happen to this? But for now, just fill it in with gravel and be done with this. So, 
let's just get to work. It's that time of day where you kick back and look at what you've done and realize this is gonna take a lot longer than you thought. I'm gonna sleep good tonight. Progress from day three. Pile. That's gotta be all the way. Ugh.